Hey guys, welcome back or thank you for coming. I'm gonna share an empties with you today. First, I wanna say thank you to everyone who subscribed and keeps coming back to watch these videos. I appreciate each and every one of you. You've kind of kept me sane during this quarantine because even though we are in green phase, it's like a modified green, which just keep us in another phase. But I live in a weird hot spot that's, you know, we keep going back and forth with numbers. So I am working from home, which I am incredibly thankful to be doing. I'm going to school from home. So basically, I I really haven't left since March 16th or shortly thereafter actually. So yeah, you guys are definitely keeping me sane. All the likes and comments definitely help. So I just wanted to tell you that I appreciate you guys and thank you very much. So let's get into this empties. It's not as big as I thought, which is a little disappointing because I don't know what I was doing. I know I'm having a problem with getting scent throw. So I think I got a little burnt out for a little while, but let's just jump right in anyway. So here we go. Lemon Cello by Bath and Body Works. It's, it's a nice candle. It did get a little yucky towards the end. While not pretty, it still kept its scent. Goose Creek. This candle burned so beautifully. If there's any soot on here, it's either from me lighting it or blowing it out because, you know, sometimes you don't have a little wick bender nearby. But it was beautiful. Too bad it didn't smell. Uh, Summer Slices was the first Goose Creek candle I ever bought and I fell in love. So naturally I would buy it again. Unfortunately, this one just didn't have any scent. I know there's been, I don't know if I want to say controversy, I know there's been talk about Goose Creek going through a phase of not having any smell. Yankee Candle did it, so it's not specific to Goose Creek. This might have been one of those. Kudos on the beautiful burn, honestly. You could not ask for better. One of the other reasons I'm trying to get away from big brand candles and wax is because they go through these phases and, you know, I don't want to spend my money on phases, so I don't want to guess that, oh, hey, maybe this is the phase that will smell. So there's that. It's a shame. It is what it is. Yankee Candle Pear. Obviously, this said it a little bit. It was absolutely gorgeous, but I have white walls and well, I don't want to do this. That's a lot of freaking soot. It's too much. So beautiful scent. Yeah, no, I'm not having this much soot though. Bath and Body Works Love. Don't know when this is from. Maybe 2015? So it's old. Didn't smell. Burned nicely. I can smell it on cold. Didn't smell on warm. So there's that. The rest are wax melts. So these first two, I'm so happy to be rid of. I have had them for ages. I can't even tell you how long I've had them for. Colonial candle, grapefruit and wheatgrass. And the wax was so soft, I had to like scoop it out. There's nothing against soft wax. It was kind of gross. It smelled great, but just kind of gross. Colonial candle, berry sorbet. This wax was a little bit harder. And I know I got these two at the same time. Again, smelled great. They're old as dirt. So I'm happy that they did anything. Happy also to be rid of them because I probably won't buy Colonial Candle again. Goose Creek, if any of you watched my other video um, about my Goose Creek collection and the melts that I wanted to get through this summer, you'll understand why I'm so happy about this. I will link, link that video down below, but I went through a grapefruit mandarin, a watermelon, which this one is, if you like watermelon, you'll love this. Strawberry daiquiri, and look how gross that is. These I'm surprised he's even still through because look how yellow and disgusting that is. And a blood orange. This one wasn't my favorite. I feel like this one had a little bit of a perfume note to it. I could be going crazy. Yeah, so that's that. And then we had clean lavender and lemon curd from L3. I would definitely buy this again. Cantaloupe from Front Porch Candles. This was probably from 2015 and I don't even think you can get it anymore. Still through, still delicious. Now this was a uh, incense fire goddess. It wasn't bad, wasn't anything noteworthy. Ruby Slippers by That Smell Good Shop. Gain Island Fresh and Strawberry. I don't really like Gain, like those, those laundry detergent smells. I kind of knew that and this just confirmed it for me so i am that's why i'm so happy it was a sample because then i wouldn't have to buy it and then you know know that it, i didn't like it uh, another front porch from 2015 pear berry again i don't think she makes this anymore it was very nice though chicks and wicks woodstock 69 it was nice on cold it was incredibly light so and this was in my bedroom which normally has a good throw Chicks and Wicks Bahama Fizz. This I really liked. This was nice. Summery, fruity, islandy. Case scented melts, freshly zested lemon. Gorgeous. To me, it almost smells like it has a hint of greenery in it. Just the slightest hint of like a lemon leaf. 
I really liked it. Destination Wax Lavender Lullaby. A sweet blend of lavender lilac and mimosa flower. The lavender is gorgeous. It's too perfumey for me. If you like the smell of lilac, you will like this. It is heavy on the lilac. It's beautiful, just too heavy for me. Sleeping Spell by Scented Spells. This is amazing. The lavender in this is so beautiful. And the funny thing about this is I melted like 75% of it and it didn't throw and I was so sad because her scents are beautiful. And I put it away for quite a while and I took it back out and I, I melted the last 25% through like a champ. So if you order from her, even though I don't think she has cure times on there, let it sit for a little bit. You will not be sorry. Her scents are beautiful. Pringle Candle Lemon Rind. Beautiful lemon. Again, this is very old. I don't know if they offer this anymore. It's beautiful though. They do a very good lemon. Kringle Candle Rosemary. I love their labels too. Um, and I mix these two together because rosemary and lemon is beautiful together. That Smell Good Shop Total Eclipse of the Tart. I really like this. It's strawberry, blackberry, raspberry, and pink sugar. It's delicious without being overly sugary. It's very, very nice. Rainforest Spa by That Smell Good Shop. I don't remember what this was, but I do remember I liked it. It's like a citrusy, and it's got a citrusy base. I'll put the scent notes in the bottom for that. Satin Susie Strawberry. I'm fussy about, I'm fussy about a lot of things. I'm fussy about strawberry scents. This one was not one of my favorites. I just didn't care for the oil that much. It wasn't like an authentic harvest strawberry. But I mixed it with um, Rose Girls Lemonade and it was really yummy. And then the last two are two of my all-time favorite scents. They're both from Karma Coded, and one is Golden Goddess. Mm, it's so delicious. And I'll put the scent notes in the in the bottom for you. And the other one is Black Magic. Oh, this one, this Black Magic is so sexy. Put this in your bedroom, you will not be sorry. Wow, that's it. Not a lot of empties. I'm a little disappointed, but I was actually all over the place this past, past month, so. It's okay, that's it. Thank you for coming. Thank you for spending this tiny bit of time with me. I hope you're doing well. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. We'll talk about it all in the comment section. Oh wait, I found one more, two more. Chicks and Wicks Lavender. This one was really nice. If you like lavender, I, I recommend this one. And Barrett Wax Crafts Clean Steel. This was a sample. I didn't know what I would think of this. It was really nice. It was a hint of masculine without being over the top. I don't like masculine scents. So I will definitely um, put this in the description box as well. So now I'm done. So yeah, thank you for joining me. Please like, share, subscribe. Let's talk about everything in the comments, even if it's nonsense and not wax related. Let's just talk about it. So that's it. I hope to see you guys really soon. Bye.